Welcome to this demonstration of ADS's FlowView software. FlowView is ADS's web-based system that delivers flow monitoring information that is always at your fingertips. It allows you to easily see what's going on at the various locations in your collection system. For the purposes of this demo, we have set up a small project containing 10 locations here in Huntsville, Alabama, but the software will scale up to hundreds of locations. Our project is named Huntsville, Alabama Demo, which you can see in the upper left corner of your screen. When you launch FlowView, it takes you into this dashboard view with a map and four supporting tools underneath. The majority of what the user wants to do is available here from this dashboard view. The layout of the software is such that you have the locations available to select in the right navigation pane and function tabs in the upper left. The map gives the users access to lots of information at the location level. Let's take a look at the map. The color of these location markers will change depending on the condition state of the location. The legend shows that green indicates a location in a normal, non-alarming state. Red indicates a location in an alarming state. Yellow indicates a location with an active alarm that has been acknowledged. From the map, the user can initiate a variety of functions. From the locations listing on the right, select a location. Let's look at location IC01. A location inset displays on the map with location details. Under collection, this provides communication information and the ability to initiate an on-demand collect. Click on collect and a collect task is scheduled. Data will be appended to the database. Notice that the in progress changes from no to yes. The user has the ability from the map to view data. Under data, the last available data point values and timestamp for depth, velocity, quantity, and rain are displayed. Also, the span of data available in the system is displayed. Click on the hydrograph link. The view defaults to the current seven days of data. You can hover over a time period and the depth, velocity, quantity, and rain values display. You can zoom into a period of time by adjusting the end bars of the lower graph. You can then scroll through the data in that zoomed view. Let's look at the data in a scattergraph format. Click on the scattergraph link. It defaults to the same current seven days of data as a hydrograph. The scattergraph shows the minimum and maximum depths reached for this period of time on the y-axis and velocity on the x-axis. The user also has the ability from the map to view alarms. Under alarms, a summary of the four most recent active alarms is displayed. IC01 is currently in an active alarm state as indicated by the red inset bar and the red location marker on the map. From the Alarms tab, the user has an opportunity to take action, to acknowledge or clear alarms. Each line indicates the alarming event type, timestamp, and description. The user can access more alarm information by selecting View Alarm Log at the bottom of the screen. This directs the user to the alarm log with access to all active alarms for the selected location. Here you can also acknowledge alarms and view data. Let's go back to the dashboard. The user has a lot of information available just from the map view. We have viewed flow data, collected data, and viewed alarms at the location level just from the map. Let's take a look at the four dashboard tools. These display helpful information at the project or system level. The Alarms tool displays the 10 most recent alarms in the system. This will show the user any active alarms, whether they are active, unacknowledged, as red, or active, 
acknowledged as yellow. The user can initiate the action to acknowledge or clear alarms from here and also view data. To access more alarms for the system, choose View All. The Battery Status tool displays the overall battery status of the meters. Green indicates good. Yellow indicates low. The battery voltage is within one volt of the low battery limit for the monitor model. Red indicates critical. The battery voltage is at or below the low battery limit. The list on the right ranks the locations with the 10 most critical or low batteries. To access more battery status information, choose View All. This provides all location statuses, including good. The Collect Status tool displays the overall communication status of the system during the week. The bars represent daily communication success rate, both monitor cryout to deliver data or an alarm, and the success of data collection. The list highlights locations with communication issues. The user can initiate an on-demand group collect of these problem locations, if there are any. The Notifications tool displays the most recent user task notifications for data collects and exports. Notice a collect notification for IC01. We had initiated a collect and it is at the top of the completed user task list. Let's take a look at the function tabs at the upper left. Next to the dashboard is the events tab. The user can access alarm logs and events logs. The user can also create templates of frequently referenced logs. The locations tab provides the same location details as viewed from the map, but in a larger view for the hydrograph and scattergraph. The user can view a single location or multiple locations in a slideshow view. Let's select IC01. Since this location bar indicates the location is still in an active alarm state, the user can click the plus alarming and access the alarm summary. The user can also initiate an on-demand collect for the location. Here the user has the ability to scroll through multiple locations and view data. Under Location Groups, the user can create location groups, edit current groups, and collect a location group. The Reports tab allows the user to generate numerous types of reports, event reports, monitor, flow data, and administrative reports. These reports can be generated on demand or scheduled. Monitor reports such as battery status or collect status can be scheduled and set for delivery via email. The user can also create report templates for frequently used report settings. It is under the Report tab that the user can utilize the Data Export feature. The Vault tab. This provides a searchable repository of documents by file name at the location and the project level. Let's search for IC01 documents. The Manage tab allows the user to manage the editing and deletion of templates and map views. Let's go back to the dashboard. No matter where the user is navigating in FlowView, they will be notified of new alarms or task updates with the notification icons in the right corner of the screen. Under the User icon, the user can update their account password, and set email address preferences for notifications. Under the contact icon, the user can see the various methods for contacting ADS. This completes the overview of the FlowView system. Thank you.